I'm just trying to just take things one by one and uh, not to really not think about too much and just, you know, it's in God's hands now. Dressing for the draft has become almost as analyzed as a player's skill set. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to unleash a guy's true fashion sense. I want to put my personality into this, this outfit. You know, I didn't want to be traditional, you know, suit and tie and, and slacks. You know, I wanted to just make it funky and have it fun with it. Everybody has a, has a vision for themselves, so he definitely has a vision. He knew where he wanted to go. And then the thing that I was uh, definitely excited about, Devin, was definitely, like, uh, open. He was, like, ready to go and, like, wanted to try something different. So it was great. 90 minutes later, it was time to display that look on the red carpet. This is a lot like the Academy Awards, with more brawn than Botox. Man, I definitely feel like a celebrity for one time in my life. Uh, I feel like I'm more than a football player right now. I feel like I can go make an album or something. But um, I feel good right now, man. Energy's good in the air, and I'm just ready to have a good time. Once the draft begins, the energy amps up, and the diehards embrace this annual rebirth. There was no masquerading for Devin when his name was called, an iconic franchise trading up to grab him. I mean, it was crazy just to see my name on the back of the Steelers jersey. Uh, I never could have dreamt that. Moments after leaving the stage, a list of activities. Trading cards, digital media interactions, note his sidekick, fellow former Wolverine Taylor Lewan, and interviews, lots of them. Over two hours of commitments, such as the life of a top 10 pick. Devin and I had a conversation last season about potential NFL landing places. And despite being a kid from South Florida, Pittsburgh was actually one of the two teams he mentioned that fit his style. I think it's safe to say he's gonna be a fan favorite in the Steel City. It's just the black and gold, man, and, and their history behind them. You know, their team that's always gonna be in the running, a team that's always gonna win, a team that's always gonna contend for the playoffs every year. So just to go there, man, it, 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 was, it was a blessing. This night, a rainy night in Nashville, provided a rainbow of emotions. Everything, reflecting is the biggest thing. You reflect on what got you there, you know, the ups and downs, the good times, the bad times, the times you were like, I can't do it no more, the times you was like, I gotta push through. And everything goes to your mind, and to be able to hear your name selected, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a big hat off to yourself, a, a huge pat of your back to yourself, but you know, work is still need to be done. Spoken like a true linebacker, a Steelers linebacker. At the NFL Draft, I'm Ed Kingerski for MGO Blue TV.